Welcome to the STEM School Highlands Ranch video presentation of our first pitch robot. Our team was very excited to work on this project and put in tremendous effort since its announcement. Today we'll be showing off what our team has come up with, so let's take a look at what or who we plan on putting on the field. We've decided that Dinger has had enough time sitting on the sidelines while the players get all the action on the field. However, he's not exactly in shape to be giving pitches. Lucky for him, we've provided a catapult to throw the ball for him. We've even given him a button to launch the catapult himself. And this catapult was designed with elements to help it hit the home plate every time it's launched. We designed our arm to be in the shape of a scoop to optimize the distance we get out of our catapult. When the catapult is launched, the ball will travel up the arm following the scoop shape, increasing its momentum as it does. This noticeably improves the distance we can launch the ball compared to a cup type holder at the same power. To ready the catapult, we're using a gate latch that the arm will hook into when it's lowered. The gate latch also has a string powered by a motor that when pulled will release the latch and fire the catapult. For the power source of our catapult, we are using surgical tubing, which we've attached to the head of our arm and the front of our base. We can adjust the distance we get from our catapult by changing the number of tubes the catapult is armed with. As we continued to work on the project, testing and prototyping our designs, we ran into some obstacles. Initially, we wanted to give Dinger a chance to rest by sitting him in a chair and giving him a button on the armrest, but we ultimately decided that he had to stand. To make it up to him, we gave him his own button stand that he could launch the catapult from using his arm. We also had trouble with Dinger's arm. We had planned on using a motor system to move his arm down into the button. However, after experimenting with him, we realized that the components would be too heavy and would cause Dinger to lean over or fall. To avoid this, we opted to attach strings to his arm and pull it towards the button rather than push it into the button. Along with complications we ran into with Dinger, there were also a few wrinkles to iron out with our catapult design. The first prototype had a wooden arm, but it was damaged in our initial test before we could even fire a ball. We wanted to make the new arm out of a material that was less brittle, so we chose PVC. After some tests, this is the arm that we decided on using from then on. We wanted to add foam to dampen the impact on the arm, but as we progressed testing with our catapult, we realized it was doing more harm than good. It was decreasing the distance we could send the ball and it wasn't providing the PVC with realistic protection as the PVC was durable enough to survive the impact on its own. In the end, we decided not to use it. With each obstacle we encountered while engineering our first pitch robot, we were able to maneuver around the problem and continue. We were able to redesign and add to our project through the engineering design process to create the perfect design. The design had four major components, the base, the catapult, the button stand, and of course, Dinger. When we finished putting everything together, we had something that weighed less than 100 pounds and could fire over 51 feet. Thank you for watching our video presentation. We hope to see you at STEM Day on May 5th.